Hello everybody! Welcome to Farm Talk Friday. It's uh, Friday, December 17th, 2021. I'm Ken Jordan. This is my beautiful wife, Giovanna. We're here at the Green Wave House on the Green Wave House page at our little Green Wave farm. Yes. Which has other names. Which has they? another name. <laughs> Okay, that's all we need. To Happy disclose right holidays now. Yes. to everybody. Woo. Um, am, I, am I going first? Well, I thought I'd talk. We're not very practiced. I'll talk. I thought I'd talk about this a little bit. Okay. Um, it is um, Rosa de Jamaica harvesting season. These look so Christmassy, don't they? They're so beautiful. These are like the roses of the um, Rosa de Jamaica plant, which is a hibiscus. These are like the roses, they're like a calyx, a calyx. Uh, you can pronounce it both ways. They're like uh, little rubbery roses. And uh, anyway, um, I'll soon be harvesting these. <laughs> rubbery roses. Yeah, they're like rubbery, gelatinous kind of thing. Okay, so they're delicious. They taste good on their own. I don't know if it tastes too Well, it's kind of fuzzy. I say almost, well, they're almost succulent. -like. Almost plasticky. I don't know. Okay, rubbery, plasticky. Okay, so anyway, uh, mainly we make tea out of these. Everyone makes tea. Rosa de Jamaica tea, or they call it hibiscus tea. Um, and so uh, it's, uh, it's harvest time now, and it will be for a couple of months, right? And um, we harvest them first, and then we process them. Process them by just taking off the petals as large as possible and removing that guy, which is the seed pod. Did we figure out something to do with those yes. recently? So we always would end up with a, a ton yeah. of these seed pods. And so what you can do is you can kind of crush a little bit, crush these a little bit, and then you boil them. And what you get is uh, pectin. You get pectin. And so with the pectin, you can make uh, jam without having to buy pectin to make your jam. So last Ken year- Ken makes jam. Yeah, last year I made uh, Rosa de Jamaica jam. Ken jams out. That's my jam. And uh, of course we also make uh, the tea. We dry it, we either dehydrate it or just freeze these. Either way, but what's interesting is when you dry them out, when you dehydrate them, that tea makes the deep red tea if you just use the frozen petals or the fresh petals, it's like a lighter color red. Because I'm sure you were all dying to know about that. Yeah. And the whole plant is usable. And you can um, take the leaves and put them into salads, and they have the same flavor as the rosettes. Um, but apparently you can use the wood stems too, but we just, we, I don't know. That would be a lot more work, it seems. So we just use these. A little more information. These have way more vitamin C than oranges. And the flavor kind of reminds you a little bit of, of cranberry, but these are way sweeter than cranberry. Cranberry without sugar is just so unbelievably sour and tart. Yeah. Okay, so you're done with that. So this past week, I think, <laughs> unless they've been sitting longer than a week, I harvested a bunch of limes from our tree and um, also some Oranges, these are oranges, and these are actually ripe. See, see how orange they are? <laughs> see how they look like limes, but they're bigger? These, these are the Costa Rican oranges. So, I guess we should have cut one. Maybe I will cut one while cut, you... I'll cut one while you're talking. Well, I can do it while you're talking okay. about that. So, you know, when you get your limes and your oranges, they come all at once, and you can't possibly use them all at once while they're fresh. So. Uh, what I do is I, um, I juice them. This is all lime juice here, and uh, it's great. But what I do is I, um, I fill up bottles about three quarters of the way, 
and then freeze them. And then it, you know, it goes to the top. And my idea this year is to juice and freeze enough to where we have lime juice available for the whole year. Because, you know, I use lime juice all the time and everything. Okay, so I'm back. And here we have our orange. Yeah. But then here we have our lime. So the Costa Rican limes are also orange on the inside and apparently a little bit more orange more than orange. our oranges. <laughs> but if you look, the lime, the green is, I don't know, bigger or closer to the orange part. And they, they do taste different. So this tastes like a lime and this does taste like an orange. And you can't really peel these guys and eat them. You pretty much you have to only, juice them. can only juice them. Yeah. Um, so I have a treat for us, Ken. Yes, treat. Whoa, I did not expect that to happen. Okay, so. Okay, what do we got here? Did you see that pour out though? It's like a milky. It looked like corchata. Yeah, it looks like horchata. I don't think Whoa, I'm getting good. I need to give you some more. Okay. It's white. Wow. White milky substance. I'm fearful. Okay. I don't know this what is... it is. It smells weird. Okay, cheers. <laughs> I know. Well, here we go. It has nothing in it. It's just what it is. That's good, whatever it is. You like it? So. Last week we talked about the okras okay. and the dried okras and how some people use it as a, an alternative to coffee, even though there's no caffeine in it. So it comes like this um, when they're dry. So you can eat them and steam them when they're green, but, but they look brown when they're dry. And then you kind of open them up and like, like the little seeds will pop out. And then um, sometimes you can use your nail and get seeds out of some of the other parts. And so this one like turned into kind of like a claw. Looks cool. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And then that's, some, that's an inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um yeah. Yeah. There you uh, go. That looks good. Well, you can't really see the difference. So this is a seed. Let me see. It's one yeah. of the seeds. And they, they kind of exploded on me like last week when I tried to open one up. But then um, I, you grind it up, and I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to get the chafe off of it, but you grind it up and it looks like, kind of like black pepper. And then you just make coffee out of it, like normal. But what I was not expecting was it to look like this. It, it looks, looks like, like hot milk. milk. Yeah, and it's really good. Yeah. I like it. I think it'd be nice with, you know, cinnamon. Honey, so thank you so much. You're welcome. A wonderful holiday present on Farm Talk Friday. Yes. So, uh, last thing to close it out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was a beautiful little film. I, I don't think that the writing of it is new, but Gathering of the Tribe, it just came out, the animation of it. It's, only, it's less than 10 minutes. And, uh, and I, I watched it. I thought I had already seen it before. And I'm like, well, I'll just watch it again, just in case. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, I have not actually seen this. I think I had only read it before. And the artist that animated it, I have one of his books. And so I've been a big fan of his for a few years now because he just has some really beautiful spiritual animations. And, uh, and so if you want to know about me, you could watch that film and that says a lot about me. Giovanna will be sure she posts it on this page and hers. So. Yes. And then final, final thing. Sorry, baby. It's okay. Before Farm Talk Friday, I posted pictures from the week and, uh, but I was short on time. So I needed, I need to go back through and comment on each photo, but they are already up. And I've been trying to give kind of like a little photo dump of um, what's been happening around the farm since we don't take the phone and walk around the property with you. So that's it. That's it. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next Friday on you. Farm Talk Friday. For those of you that celebrate uh, Christmas, Merry Christmas. Absolutely.